All right, this is Mr. Bedley with my son Taylor here. We're going to teach you about the rock cycle today. You ready? You ready, Taylor? Yeah. Okay, come on over here. Take a look at this now. All right, we're going to start down here at magma. Wait a minute, that's not the color I want. Come here. Okay, we got, we got, that's kind of skinny. We're talking about magma first. You know what magma is? I no idea. Liquid rock. How that's can, impossible. No, you can have a rock that's like melted. It's so stinking hot that it's totally liquid. Okay, now, have you ever seen a volcano before? Yes, that's magma. That's, you're right. Here's magma. Magma's way down here in the earth like this. Yeah. And it comes up and it comes out of a volcano. And when it comes out the volcano, you know what it's called out here? Lava. Lava, correct. Lava, okay. So when it, the, when it comes, when the magma comes up to the surface, as it gets closer, it can get a little cooler. And it can actually turn into solid rock right in here inside the volcano. There's or it can rock. come out and cool because of the air and turn into rock out there. That's why okay. we have lava rock. Exactly, we have lava rock. And that rock becomes solid. It's called solidification. Big giant word. The liquid rock becomes solid. Solidification. Solidification. Okay, now... When it becomes a rock out inside the earth, when it cools in here, or on the outside, those kinds of rocks are not called lava rocks. They're called igneous rocks. What are they called? Igneous rocks. You get this so far? Yes. Okay, now igneous rocks then could get really hot again, and they could melt. And if they melt, they turn back into? Lava rocks. In Magma, right, turns back into magma, wow. and then it could come up to the surface, it could become solid again as it cools, and turn back into igneous rocks. Okay? Then, igneous rocks can go this, through this process called uplifting, kind of getting pushed up, right? And then they can become weathered, they can go through weathering and erosion. You're going to have to tilt your head to the side a little bit to be able to see those, huh? Okay, what that means is that the weather can beat against the rocks and break them down. What kind of weather could break a rock down? Storm. Storm? Tornado. Okay, but there's two basic kinds of weather that can break a rock down. Uh -oh. Rain. <laughs> okay, water. And no, and wind. <laughs> can weather a rock. Now, ice can also do it. You can actually have a crack where water gets in the crack. Here's a crack in a rock. Water gets in here. Okay, here's the water. Then it freezes, and when it freezes, it pushes out on the rock and starts to break it. Because when you know how, like, when you put water in the ice cube cube tray in the in the freezer, it gets bigger. Have you ever noticed how on the top of the the ice cubes actually go up? So that can actually push out on the rocks and break them. And erosion can happen. That's where the Rocks get broken down into little tiny pieces called sediments, like sand or pebbles, things like that. Those are called sediments. Now, what can happen to sediments? Sediments can become more eroded, more broken down. Remember the other day at the beach, we saw those pebbles? We picked them up and we played with them, and they were all round and smooth. You know why they were round and smooth? Because the water, the ocean kept working at them and working at them and pushing against them. It's actually breaking off little pieces of the rock that were rough and making it smooth. So what happened to all those little pieces of rock? Well, they became sand, became sediments. Okay, so it, it can just kind of keep going and going and breaking it down further and further into these sediments. Now the sediments, let's say you've got some sediments in a river. Okay, and this river is carrying along this sand and these little tiny pebbles and moving them down to a certain place where the, the river kind of gets low. It's then going to deposit the sediments and they'll get buried. Little pieces of sand and gravel are going to get buried under other pieces of sand and gravel and maybe other un underneath other stuff too, like mud or whatever, okay? And this stuff then can become compacted. That's where you have, look at this, 
you have all this sand and gravel and it's more sand and gravel on top of it is pushing down on it it's compacting it right and then there's this other stuff that gets in there this kind of like glue like stuff from nature and it goes in with the sand and it makes it all hard and turns it into rock and that rock is called sedimentary rock notice the word sedimentary sounds a lot, lot, lot like sediments all right so you have this kind of a sand type of a rock you ever seen rocks that look like sand you know you could just throw them on the ground and they break apart pretty easily okay that's sedimentary rock and it's made by compaction or pressing down and cementation or kind of getting glued like cemented together with natural products getting in between all the cracks and the other thing that happens is as it as the pressure pushes down the water little bits of water between the sediments get squeezed out so there's no more water inside the sediments anymore okay then the next thing that can happen the sedimentary rock can then get weathered and eroded and go back into sediments again okay so water can push on it wind can push on it the other thing that could happen to the sedimentary rock is that you can have heat and pressure so much rock on top of it pushing down giving it this tremendous pressure and this and then it starts getting hot because it's deep down in the earth and that sedimentary rock can become metamorphosed metamorphized or something like that how do you say that <laughs> it's metamorphism thank you Taylor that's good a metamorphism you ever heard of morphing before you know those commercials on TV where people's faces all of a sudden change into somebody else's face? Yeah, that's that's morphing. Creepy. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. Well, that's what's happening to the rocks, too. They're morphing into metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are really hard, and they have a lot of pressure, you know, like they've been made by a lot of pressure and heat. Now, these metamorphic rocks can have uplifting take place and some weathering and erosion done to them and they can turn back into sediments what are you asking me yeah yeah yeah. we'll get to that too okay there's just lots of different ways it can go so the metamorphic rocks can be weathered and eroded and turned into sediments little tiny pieces of metamorphic rock kind of metamorphic rock sand and gravel and things like that the other thing that can happen to the metamorphic rocks they can melt and turn into magma and then of course once it's melted and turned into magma it can start all over again where we started okay now the other thing that can happen let's go back up to the sedimentary rock as you were pointing out sedimentary rock doesn't necessarily have to have heat and pressure pushing down on it you know and heating it up and turning it into metamorphic rock that sedimentary rock can just directly melt and go straight into magma all right and then the other thing is that we didn't talk about is the igneous rocks could actually just not get weathered. They might have heat and pressure put on those igneous rocks, the lava rocks as you called them, and then they could be metamorphized or go through this um, situation of metamorphism and change into metamorphic rocks. So let's take a look at this whole thing. I'm going to clear this off. And kind of go over the whole thing there. That means that igneous rocks can change into what? What can they change into? They could melt and go back into magma. They could be heated and pressurized and morphed and made into metamorphic rocks. Igneous rocks could also be weathered and eroded and turned into sediments. Can igneous rocks be turned into sedimentary rock? No. no, not directly, okay? Now, sediments, what could what could happen to sediments, little pieces of gravel and 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 uh, sand? They, they could can be go back and they do could that again. Uh -huh, they could be eroded some more or they could turn into sedimentary rock, okay? What can happen to sedimentary rocks? Well, um, they could go the metamorphic rock? They could turn into metamorphic rock by or heat and pressure. Or igneous rock? Or they could, well, no, they're not going to turn directly into igneous rocks. They could melt and go to magma, right? Or they could be weathered yes. down yeah. and go back into sediments. 
but sedimentary rocks are not going to go directly over to igneous rocks because igneous rocks are only made out of cooling magma. All right? Now, what about metamorphic rocks? What can they do? Can they turn into sedimentary rocks? No, because sedimentary rocks come from sediments. And these are, so they could be turned into sediments by, by being weathered and ero eroding, right? Or they could be melted into magma, right? So that's where the two places that metamorphic rock could go. Um, they can't really go into igneous rock, though. Okay, did we talk about all of these? Magma, where can magma go? Um, Only one place. Yeah, it's the rock where it gets lava rock. Right, where it gets cooled, igneous rocks, right? That's the only place magma rocks can go. All right, so what I'm going to expect all the students to do, all, all of you fourth graders, is that I want you to understand this so well that you could take a blank piece of paper and draw this and explain it to someone, that you could teach this to somebody else. So you need to really go over this video, watch it as many times as you need to, to really understand what's happening. And you're going to also look at a website that goes through some of this with you. And, of course, you've seen all kinds of other videos on it. But hopefully in, in Taylor and I explaining this to you became a little bit more clear.